Next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Francis Ngannou and Kimbo Slice. All right, so here he is, the backyard brawler, the internet sensation, Kimbo Slice, finding his way onto this UFC roster. It was a big win over Houston Alexander that set up this showcase spot for Kimbo here tonight. And when Kimbo's fighting, the masses are tuning in. Let's see what Slice can do with this opportunity here tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed, lightning fast punches that come in absolutely swift combinations. Television. Here is the heavyweight contender, the Predator, Francis Ngannou. As many of you know, he was humbled by Stipe Miocic in his first UFC championship fight. But not much of the shine is off of this guy. He has gotten back to his roots, worked hard on the conditioning over there at the UFC's Performance Institute, and many believe beginning tonight, Francis Ngannou is ready to put his best MMA foot forward. This guy is an excellent boxer, and if the fight takes place standing, he will have a distinct advantage with his striking skill. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC has around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, King! This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready? Fight. Here we go. Well, what a sight it is to see the Predator Francis Ngannou back inside the octagon. He is in the physical shape of his life. His words, not mine. Let's see if that produces the desired result here tonight. Nice straight right lands. All right, the first round is underway here. You got to watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop. It. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice hook to the body. And now he lands a combination. Huge uppercut misses. That was a big left hand he connected with. Oh! He's hurt here. Slice the shot there is blocked. 
Just over three minutes to go now. Nice leg kick. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's, oh, he's, hurt. he's not here. He's in a lot of trouble. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Francis Ngannou. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. Some have got through, Joe. This shot is... Oh, he got tagged again. He's That's a nice one, too. Oh, another one. This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. He tagged him again. He's hurt. Hard straight punch. How about that chin? Oh! He is stumbling. Oh! Big shots! Hard hook! Straight right hand out just misses. Round two next. So both fighters survive and advance to see a next round, but not without absorbing significant damage. Knockdowns on both sides. We'll see who can make the adjustments before this next round. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Brett, relax. You're okay. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. You're Thank you very much, Carly Baker. All right, second round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Slice gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at that nasty jab. Oh, man, defensively. Big left hook. He's got him right here. There he swung with a haymaker. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good. Oh. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is... Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. Who gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally, now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Oh, he pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. Hook in the clinch there is good by Kimbo Slice. Ingano's got double underhooks. And there comes the separation now.
that strike will count. Wow. Oh. for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. And let's see that again. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kimbo! So Kimbo Slice gets it done tonight. It's amazing to think a few years ago we were watching this guy on the internet brawling in backyards. Since crossing into the big show, Kimbo Slice has found a way to get it done, and he gets his hand raised yet again tonight.